Let's talk about the team has issued a weather aware day. That's right. And the reason why is we we're looking at seeing some pockets of heavy mm -hmm. rainfall and even some gusty winds. So we just don't want anyone to be caught off guard. Okay. And that's why we say weather aware. It does not mean that we're going to see active weather regarding uh, weather alert, which would generally mean the, uh, that we would definitely see some severe weather. Severe weather is not necessarily what we'll be dealing with today. It's just that with some morning sunshine, it may be a little deceiving. And I don't want anyone to be surprised with those afternoon storms that could be packing a bit of a punch. Dynamics in the atmosphere, just a little different than our normal thunderstorms that we see during the summertime. Beautiful start to the day, though, in Birmingham, where temperatures are currently sitting at 72 degrees. Because we're going to be dealing with a dry start this morning, but followed by afternoon showers and storms, I recommend grabbing the rain gear as you head out the door this morning. You could be putting it to use at some point throughout the day. Temperatures this morning from 71 in Gadsden over to 72 in Double Springs. Same with Jasper. Upper 60s down in Clanton. I want to show you a big picture first. South, not seeing much rain. So if you're beach bound today, no real worries of wet weather early in the day. But if you're heading north, you are going to contend with some active weather near Hartsell. This is just to the north of Coleman right now. We're going to continue tracking these storms off to the east, heading towards Holly Pond in about nine minutes, Bluntsville in about 19 minutes. As we look a little closer, the heavier rainfall has now moved from Brilliant through Kansas, now heading right to Townley and into Jasper. Again, right along this interstate. 22 corridor and then light showers all the way up through Smith Lake. This line stretches all the way down towards Mississippi, so we can't rule out rain being produced along that front, even as we move into places like Tuscaloosa, relatively dry right now, but you could be seeing some rain soon. We're looking at more showers and storms back through Arkansas. That is going to contribute to our late day showers and storms. Coverage begins increasing really by about noon today, and that will continue on and off through the afternoon. I'll call it intervals of rain and storms. It doesn't look like the whole day will be a complete washout or really consistent rain in any one locale. But notice that rain stays mainly towards the northern fringe of our viewing area through around 1130 this morning. Then by noon to 1 o'clock, it begins to become a bit better organized along that 2059 corridor from 2.30 to 4.30, pushing eastbound, and we could see it stretching from Pell City over towards Anniston up towards center, including Gadsden with some pockets of rain pushing south of 20 there towards Greensboro and Hell County. By 6 p.m., we'll still see some storms meandering, but most of the active weather will be east of 65 at that point, and then we'll continue to see a few evening showers again. Some of these could be packing a punch. That's today. Now, I do want to fast forward a bit as we move towards the end of the week because we could be seeing more rain on tap because of a little tropical disturbance. Disturbance. Not named yet, but it does look like most models are suggesting it moves over towards Texas into Louisiana. One rogue model pushing it into Alabama. I don't think that will happen, but because of all of the moisture in the Gulf, that's why we're going. I'm going to keep a pretty elevated rain chance in the forecast through the end of the week. And that is a look at your storm track seven-day forecast.